First, the Valley's law enforcement community mourning the loss of another brother behind the badge killed on the job. Maricopa County Sheriff's Deputy Juan Ruiz was just taken off life support this afternoon. He was badly beaten over the weekend by a suspect who was being taken into custody at the time. Jason Berry is joining us live from the West Valley where a candlelight vigil will be held for Deputy Ruiz later on this hour. Jason. Yeah, in just a little bit, this MCSO substation will be surrounded by friends, deputies, and concerned citizens all here to pay their respects to Deputy Ruiz. His death has hit this community hard, but it also raises new questions about the accused killer. He was just doing his job, and it cost him his life. Maricopa County Sheriff Deputy Juan Johnny Ruiz was just taken off life support after he was badly beaten by a violent fugitive at this West Valley substation Saturday morning. Sheriff Paul Penzone was visibly shaken talking about what happened. I have the utmost respect for the men and women's organization. Excuse me. I would hope that members of this community have a more clear understanding of the dangers that these men and women face every day. This is the man authorities say is responsible, Clinton Robert Hurley. We're told Hurley had just been arrested on some outstanding warrants and had been brought to the substation off Van Buren and Dysart to be processed. Deputy Ruiz had reportedly uncuffed Hurley and was putting him in a holding cell when Hurley turned on the deputy and beat him unconscious. Hurley then took off in the deputy's SUV. Co-workers found Ruiz and rushed him to a nearby hospital where he never recovered. Authorities say Hurley abandoned the deputy's Tahoe, carjacked another vehicle, then tried to break into a home in Tonopah. That's when the homeowner shot Hurley several times and he was taken into custody. The 30-year-old Hurley was on probation for sexual assault and attempted child molestation and in May of this year was arrested for stealing a vehicle, then trying to escape from custody. At the time, a judge set bond at $500, an amount Sheriff Penzone and other law enforcement leaders insist was way too low. The judges have what's called a bench book where they have guidelines. Valley defense attorney Dwayne Cates says considering the type of charges involved here, he thinks a higher bond may have been more appropriate. Generally, if somebody is on probation and they get a new charge, they can be held non-bondable. So that's a big factor in determining what somebody's bond is. County Sheriff's Office. I'm here at Banner Thunderbird with Mr. Clinton Hurley. Hurley's initial court appearance was held today, but he had to attend over the phone since he's still in the hospital. We've learned the 45-year-old deputy has been with MCSO for three years. His family has decided to donate his organs. I'm told it's up to every judge to use their discretion when setting bond in a case weighing a number of factors. We reached out to Maricopa County Superior Court and we're told they cannot comment on individual cases. Deputy Ruiz leaves behind a mother, a sister and four brothers. The candlelight vigil will begin here at 530 tonight. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's family. Jason.